Hey everyone, how's it going? Nice to see you all again. Hopefully the camera quality looks better because I just got a new phone and I think the front camera will work a lot better this time. Hopefully the audio quality too. Let me know in the comments down below if you notice any difference or not. But anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about what would, what makes a good medical school applicant. Because having received five interview invites so far and hopefully more to come, I have a pretty good idea of what it takes to become a good applicant in medical school because getting that many interview invites is really good. First off, I would suggest knowing the medical school application timeline and using it to your advantage. For example, in this cycle, I took my MCAT in March of 2022. And the first day in which submissions open for the primary MCAS application, they opened this year in May 31st. So what that meant was that I took my MCAT way ahead in advance. And when I did that, I had to wait for a month in order to get my score back. And once I got my score back in April, I had a month to decide which schools I could apply to. I highly suggest if you're thinking of applying to medical school in the next cycle, take your MCAT at the very latest in April. Because if you take it in May, people are already going to be turning in their applications while you're still figuring out which schools to apply to. Once you've taken your MCAT, you will also then have time to work on your primary personal statement, which is where you get to showcase yourself as an applicant. And why is it that you want to become a doctor? What was the journey that led you to go to medicine? Which brings me to my second point. You need to take some time to take a step back and reflect on why is it you want to become a doctor? Because this is where it really gets real. You're now very close to entering the stages of going into medical school. And this is a path that you're going to go down for the rest of your life. So you need to be 100% sure that the motivations of which you want to become a doctor are authentic and true. The reason why medical schools have primary applications is so that they can really sift out which people are really in it for medicine for the right reasons and which people are in it just for the prestige money as well as meeting their parents' expectations. I would want a physician as a patient who is in medicine because they truly care about the patients and they care about their well-being. So you need to showcase that in your personal statement. Once this application cycle is over, I would be very happy to read my personal statement. And hopefully that will give you guys a better idea of the authenticity that should come across in your writing to medical schools. That's the key of me reading my personal statement in a subsequent video, much later on, most likely. As a third tip, when it comes to becoming a good applicant in medical schools, I would highly emphasize, yes, you need to get good grades, but you also need to have other extracurriculars. They want to know what you do for fun. What is it that you like to do during your time off? And these activities don't even have to be related to medicine at all. If you want to play a sport, go ahead and play a sport. Don't feel the need to give it up just because you're a pre-med. As a matter of fact, I'd say pursue those passions even further because... Medical schools really like to see that you're a person who has interests outside of medicine. For example, one of the things that I listed was uh, I started making a YouTube channel, as a matter of fact. And it was something that really started a very interesting conversation because not many people really start YouTube channels. And it's kind of scary to get up front in camera and to talk to a lot of people like this. I even admit, even right now, I stutter. With all the edits I make, I still continue to stutter. And yes, guys, for those of you who thought... I completely spoke this fluidly, or I don't know if you think I speak that fluidly. But for those of you who thought I speak this fluidly in my videos, that is 100% not true. Sometimes I pause and stutter for very long periods of time before I get my actual point across. That's how I talk in real life a lot of the times. It's not perfect at all. But anyway, going back to my point, you need to find interests that are outside of medicine. And even within medicine too, pursue volunteering. But don't pursue it to check off a list just to please medical schools. Pursue it because it's something that you're passionate about and because you like the community there and you see the good that you're doing in the community, helping patients who may not potentially have access to other health care resources or patients who might be feeling lonely too to have someone to talk to. I think that's something that should really come across in your profile as an applicant and that can really help you stand apart your extracurriculars and other activities. A fourth tip I recommend in order to become a good applicant is that you need to get your stats together. Now I did emphasize that extracurriculars do make up a large part of who medical schools decide to ultimately accept or reject as applicants because they want to see you more than just numbers. 
However, that being said, you do need to have certain numbers in order to get into medical school. The average GPA for a matriculate to medical school is around 3.7, whereas the average GPA for a uh, sorry, the average MCAT for a matriculate is a 5, 12 and a half. So long as you meet those statistics, you really have a good chance of getting into medical school anywhere, even if it's a very competitive school like the Ivy Leagues. As long as you meet those metrics, really what's going to help you out get in those schools will be more of your personal statements, your essays, as well as your extracurriculars, which I see as another strength because I really like how once you meet those thresholds, you have another chance to prove yourself to them by showing them who you are as a person and showcasing your strengths and weaknesses as an applicant. And it's something that you really need to sit back and take some time to, to really think about because these things are not really easy to come up with all by yourself. And I would highly suggest talking to your friends and family about what traits they see in you that you may not even see in yourself, as well as how these traits can bring diversity and appeal to medical schools. For example, if you speak another language, that should be something that you bring up because medical schools are always looking for physicians who are able to connect to patients in other cultures, as an example right there. So to recap, in order to become a good medical school applicant, they're looking for a certain level of stats, but stats are not everything because there have been cases where pre-meds with very high stats apply to medical school and they fail to get in because they fail to address having a good personal statement, having good extracurriculars, as well as having other hobbies and interests outside of medicine because medical school will be a very stressful time and Admissions officers want to see that you have a way of relieving the stress in a healthy way. I remember it, as one of my activities, I ended up putting that I got a new puppy, which I'll probably link somewhere right here if you guys want to see his cute photo. But I remember I ended up putting him down as an activity linked with running because uh, the puppy I have is a Siberian Husky and he really likes to run a lot. So that was really one thing I, I wrote down in my applications. I knew that a lot of people are very interested in dogs and most likely at least someone on the officer team is probably a pet owner and they could relate to some level to having a dog. And plus it also gave me a chance to tell them more about myself as a person rather than just being a applicant who's more of a, a faceless number, if that makes any sense. In a subsequent video, I will specifically go over the points of how to write a really strong personal statement. However, right now, I think uh, this is a good point to end in which we, in which I've discussed how to become a very strong applicant. By ultimately, yes, you need to have good grades and a good MCAT score. However, I'd say that the most important thing, though, is ultimately to pursue extracurriculars you're really passionate about and to also be very authentic about your motivations of going into medicine and to really think about it long and hard. Because it could be that you might think about it and you're like, huh, maybe I don't want to do this career and that's totally fine. And you want that to come across to whatever schools that you choose to apply to or not apply to in the end. I hope that these tips have helped you all and that you can use this in order to succeed in your application cycle yourself. Be sure to like and subscribe this video so that I could keep producing more content like this that will help you guys out for free. I think that's the beauty of YouTube. I could keep helping you guys out for free in... All you need to do to support me is to simply like, subscribe, hit those two little teeny buttons, and it'll give me the motivation to keep going. And that's something that I really love seeing about this channel so far is that I've been building a community very slowly over time. And I hope to keep this community growing and expanding and to have people down in the comments just talking about whatever it is that they want to address. But in the meantime, I'll let you guys go and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.